Yeah. Bristol domination. You all know the drill. You all know what's gonna happen, and you all know why I'm doing this. <laughs> that caught my cat's attention. <laughs> if only I was. <laughs> you like that, huh, Nala? <laughs> All right, a record broken by Kyle Larson. Broke Jeff Gordon's record at Martinsville, 1997. Who said that they were mid? Who says that the new Hendrick Motorsports gang was mid? Hmm. Got something to say about that now? Kyle Larson evidently has been a record breaker ever since he went into the five machine in 2021. And now this yet again proves another exhibit. <coughs> but although seeing someone dominate a race isn't the most thrilling thing in the world, but it definitely can be the most impressive. Uh, one of the most impressive. As far as this Bristol race goes, there was action in the back of the field and well, as well as the top five and top 10 positions like they were still running both high middle and low lanes but i wouldn't really say that this is one of the better uh, bristol races i definitely have seen way way better than this like much 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 better than this like even the bristol races i've been to were much more thrilling than this not 2022 bristol though fuck that fuck that i would never ever 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 even accept a million dollars to watch that ever again okay maybe 10 million dollars and then just get it over with but nothing more nothing more or less <sighs> but yeah in all seriousness uh this pretty much was just a big smackdown by kyle larson on the field basically displaying his uh rainbow warrior wonder boy energy and he got acquired his uh ricky rudd slash davy allison career win 28 and his fifth win of 2024 but yeah this race yeah it was still pretty tedious but i wouldn't say it was trashed that much he definitely dominated more than he dominated at uh, Nashville, which is speaking volumes about this uh, this uh, record-breaking uh, statistic that he has going for himself. But yeah, as long as he keeps up with this momentum, I am optimistic. Very, very, very optimistic. And uh, I think almost all of uh, Hendrick Motorsports uh, finished in the top 10 as well. Uh, there really isn't much to report other than the predictable uh, outcome of Harrison Burton when he had mechanical problems mid-race. And, well, uh, I just love the fact that Ty Gibbs didn't progress any further than this round. Ha, 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 ha. Go fuck yourself. You had no business being in the playoffs or anywhere near the top five anyway. So, bye-bye. I'm happy Kyle Larson won. And, well... As long as he keeps up with the momentum, I'm all in. <laughs>